my name's Chelsea. I'm going to be the nurse that's taking care of you today. How are you feeling right now? Feeling very well. You're not feeling very well. Are you in pain? Can you describe it for me a little bit? Feel right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just going to start taking your vitals and see if we can help you out with that. I like being able to work in a safe learning environment. I feel like you come in and you know things aren't going to be perfect and it kind of gets you ready for like, it helps you build confidence for when you actually go out into your clinical experience and you're working with patients. Can I get staff assistance in room 102? I have a patient having a seizure. All right. Can you grab those? So I have to talk to Kevin, yeah. please. Um, you, and you also get to learn how to communicate with your peers too when you're in these like high pressure environments. You come in and just building those basic skills. I'm entering my second semester, so I've only had one experience or one semester with experiencing with mannequins, and um, that's just really helping us gain confidence in a controlled learning environment. And I just think they're so cool. And all of a sudden, he's starting to see you can't stand real close up, and his hand is shaking. Students don't often get to see certain diseases in the in the clinical setting. You know, we can't make somebody have um, you know bleed out. We can't make somebody have uh, an ulcer that's bleeding. We can't make somebody have uh, low blood pressure. But we know that we have to have students who can actually take care of those kinds of people. So it's important for us to um, craft very import very skillfully um, simulation scenarios. It feels a little bit funny at first because it's a mannequin, you come in and you're like, oh yeah, we're just pretending. But once you get in the groove of it, you feel like you're actually working with real patients and you feel that same pressure, which I think is great because then you sort of know how you're going to react in certain situations. So this mannequin um, is pretty neat. He um, actively has chest drives so they can see that he's breathing. So he has the seizures as we've seen today. Um, he can be catheterized, he can have um, ECG leads put on him and they'll actually read based on what we have programmed here. And it's been studied and proven that simulation can replicate and replace clinical experiences. So it's important for us to be able to count on having these high-powered mannequins to really simulate what humans can do and, and replicate the clinical setting. And the longer we're in here, the more smooth we see our students get with patient care, um, with giving medications. Um, their head to toe assessments go from maybe making it within a 20 minute time frame and getting everything done to having it done within the first few minutes of walking in a room. You read your textbooks and you prep for your patients and you think you know what you're gonna be able to do that's gonna fix something, but then you come in here and your interventions aren't necessarily working. So you have to really troubleshoot and talk with whoever you're working with and think like, what can we do next? And I feel like that's really similar to real life because it's not always gonna go like your textbook says it's gonna go.